Hi folks, this is David Fine from Keys Mods. Today, we're gonna to be talking about uh, the most important tool in a Lepidopterous uh, tool arsenal, it's the butterfly net. I'm just gonna give you a couple, uh, kind of go over the parts of a butterfly net. Some people make their own, some people buy them. I bought this from BioQuip products and I'm gonna link uh, their website in my description of this video because I buy most of my entomological supplies from them. Uh, and it's been a great company, been around a long, long time. So bioquip.com and uh, you can click on their website link in the description. But guys, this is my butterfly net and it's a, I got a huge net bag, net ring on this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over the parts of a butterfly net and we'll talk about what types of nets to use and for what occasions. All right guys, here's my butterfly net here. And I'm gonna try to go over the parts of the butterfly net. This is a 20 inch diameter uh, net ring, a net bag. And so it's huge. And it's, it's actually a little larger than I prefer. Um, I like the 18 or even 15 inchers. Uh, it's a little bit, they're a little bit more easy to use, a little bit more stable. Uh, when you get this big, I don't know if you can see this, but it, they kind of get a little, Let's see. Yeah, so I don't know if you can see this, but they kind of get a little a little flimsy. And you can see the, the wobble there, right? And that happens when you're trying to swing, it wobbles. And I find this one easier for safely netting large swallowtails and stuff like that that I'm breeding. Uh, but let's go over the parts of the net. And first of all, we have, of course, our net bag. And this is super important because there's all kinds of fabrics that you can get. Uh, this one is a Lepidoptera net bag that they, I don't think they sell anymore. This is a black aerial Lepidoptera net bag. And I bought a bunch of these back when they were selling them, but it's been a few years. I haven't seen them since, but uh, you can check to see what is the latest Lepidoptera net bag. I prefer personally a darker color fabric. When, we, when I'm choosing a Lepidopter net bag. And the reason is because white reflects light. So if you have a white net bag and you swing at an insect, your insect's inside and you're out in the sunlight, the, the white net bag, the white fabric actually reflects light into your face and you can't see through it as well. Black or darker colors absorb light. So when the white light hits it, the darker colors absorb the light and you can actually see through a lot better. So I know they have a dark green material. It's a little heavier, you know, but you can check out and see what are the latest um, Lepidoptera net bags. It's gotta be a soft fabric. So if you're gonna make one yourself, it's gotta be a soft fabric, uh, one that doesn't mess up the butterfly wings uh, when you swing at them. The edge of your net bag, there's a cloth that is sewn in a loop all the way around your net bag, okay? And this is what protects, like when you're swinging and you hit a branch or something like that, if, if this is all that there is, it's gonna get torn up real quick. So they put this fabric on the rim of the net to protect the fabric so that it doesn't rip. And as you can see, there's like a, there's like a hole and this ring goes all the way through the net, and this is a ring that's that's uh, wrapped all the way around. So, so this is an aluminum net handle, and it's got a little hole drilled all the way through right here. And what you do with this is you take your your net ring and you you thread it through the loop of your net, come all the way out the other side, and the, the net has got to be made for the same size of the ring. And then you put both sides through this little hole and then you've got this little screw up here that screws down and when you tighten it down, you tighten it down onto these two and it latches it and you have your net. So the length of your handle guys, this is about a, about a four foot uh, section. These are actually each two foot sections. And Lorenzo, can you unscrew that for me? All right, so wait, hold on a sec. So they make these aluminum net handles in two foot sections. 
And if you get something called a Tropics net, you can actually get a package with about 10 of these segments in it. So 10 times two, uh, maybe nine, it goes up about 18 feet tall. So if you're in the American tropics, uh, you can then just screw these together. Down at the bottom, we have a red net handle. I like to use the red net handle because the rad ruddy dagger wings come fly at this thing. They think it's a male and they get territorial and it's kind of cool. All right, Lorenzo, why don't you show us what's inside there? Unscrew that. Yeah, so guys, our net handle is pretty simple. Uh, these segments are two foot segments and they just screw in and they have the, the uh, your bottom piece that is attached to your actual handle always has that male piece and it just, it just screws right in and you've got your net. And so you can break it down, you can carry it with you on a plane or in your trunk of your car pretty easily. And that is our net. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, pretty simple. BioQuip's got all the stuff. Just go check them out, BioQuip.com. And uh, this is your most important tool. So, guys, hope you liked the video. Give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. This is a how-to series on how to keep a scientific insect collection. Lepidoptera, mostly. Uh, but... Uh, comment down below what you'd like to see next, and we've got plenty more where this comes from. So take care, and let's get out there and enjoy South Florida. Bye now.